Hi, I'm Luke with Bigger Than The Three Of Us, and today I'm going to show you how to get a little more privacy in your bathroom uh, with this sort of bathroom window clean. It's a pretty simple process for how to put this sort of cling on the window. You just cut it to the size you want, stick it on there, get the bubbles out. I'm going to walk you through what we did here using the Fibonacci sequence as a pattern, and you'll be good to go. All right, so I'm going to start by making sure I have good measurements on the window. I'm going to measure from top to bottom, in my case 31 and a quarter, and then left to right 19 and a quarter. The first trick is going to be trying to figure out how many strips of paper we want to use to cover the window, but we'll just kind of have to try it out and figure it out as we go. Now that I've got paper that's the right width for my window, I'm going to cut out some of the strips. So one inch to start with. Then I'll do a two inch strip next. Two inch strip. Next is three inches. All right, so our first three strips were one inches, two inches, and three inches. Now we're going to be unusual and do five inches. So the pattern's a lot easier on the next strip, which is going to be eight inches. And the pattern is you just take the previous two strips and you add them together, and that gives you the next strip. So two and three added gives me five, which is this strip. When I place this one down, three and five together will give me my next one, which is eight. Okay, so now that I've got a bunch of strips cut to start with, I've got like four of them, I'm gonna kinda just play around with stuff on the window and see where I'm at. So, if I put the one inch strip up, we are thinking about doing a one and a half inch gap. So that looks like that. Okay, so just playing around with this on the window a little bit. It's hard to hold all these up here, but this is about a one and a half inch gap between them, and it's pretty clear to me I'm gonna need some more paper to cover more of the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut one more. But that's how I got the feel for what strips I needed on my window with. Placing them on the window, or it might be easier placing them on the floor for with something that's about your, your length of window is just the way to figure out what strips you need. Um, I just place them out an inch and a half apart like I think I want them to be for our window for the amount of privacy we want and played around with it. In my case, it's pretty clear I need at least one more strip, so I'm going to cut that and then see where I'm at. Okay, so with the strips, let's see, one, two, three, five, and eight, I am at um, 28 inches if I also account for the one and a half inch gaps between them. Ideally, I want this whole thing to be centered on the window, and I am from that top gap to the bottom one, 28 inches. 31 minus 28 leaves me three inches left over. I think I'm just gonna do a one and a half inch gap at the top of the bottom, or a strip at the top of the bottom, and that'll round mine out and make it look good. Uh, you may need to do something else to adjust, uh, but the big thing was just to get all the strips figured out how many you're gonna use. Um, subtract that total strip height from the window's height and then center that on there or figure out what your top and bottom gap needs to be even so that it can be centered. Uh, once you've got all that, I know I need to start mine uh, one and a half inches from the top, or I guess three inches from the top, sorry. Um, I can just put the first strip, work all the way down in order, make sure they're one and a half inches apart, and it'll be good to go. I've got my first one on three inches down from the top. It may not be perfectly straight, but these you can reapply or move around if you need to. So now I'm going to start on the second one, um, and I'm going to start it an inch and a half down from this one. So I made a spacer that's the same width as the gap I want, so an inch and a half, um, just out of some of the extra contact paper that I had, uh, which is going to allow me to try to get these a little more level on the window. So if you can start by getting it at the right height and get it pressed down pretty well, uh, this you can actually put down, rip back up, and put down again, and it's all right. 
Alright, so once you've you got it pretty level, um, you might end up with some bubbles. I'm sure you can't see this on camera at all, but I have a bubble right here. This one actually is a big enough bubble that I am close enough to the edge that I'm just going to pull it back up and lay it down again. Uh, but once you have it in place, you feel good about it, you want to take uh, a credit card, an ID badge, something like that, and just kind of start at the middle and gently rub it across to get out any bubbles. So I've got the bubbles out. Um, I definitely have some extra contact paper on the sides over here, but that's all right. Uh, it's better to be too long than too short. You can just come back with your razor knife and trim that off really easily afterwards. All right, so now I'm getting smart. This is my one and a half inch spacer contact paper. I just cut off the backings on the ends so I could stick it up there temporarily. probably already seen this, but I tend to start from the middle and then work my way both up and down. So it looks pretty good, right? Pretty happy with the results. So thanks for uh, following along with this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment, let us know. Till next time.